Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover abstract factory design pattern. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, factory design pattern introduction, factory design pattern implementation, factory design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram video tutorial. Then come and watch uh, this abstract factory design pattern uh, so that you will understand this abstract factory design pattern very clearly. This abstract factory design pattern falls under the category of creational pattern. First, we will see the explanation of uh, abstract factory design pattern. Uh, this is the explanation I will just read out. Abstract factory pattern is a super factory which creates other factories. This factory is also called as factory of factories. Okay. Uh, to understand this explanation, I have created one example. Okay. So here uh, you can see cat, dog, and lion. Okay. This cat class, dog class and line class are the subclasses of animal uh, super interface or animal uh, super class. Okay. This animal uh, uh, super interface or super classes uh, one method called public string speak method. And this cat will uh, implement this public uh, string speak method and it will return meow. Like that this dog will uh, implement uh, this speak method and it will return bark bark like that uh, this line will implement uh, this speak method and it will return roar okay and this cat dog and lion are living in the land okay so that uh, uh, so this all the animals uh, will fall under the category of land animals okay so as per the uh, factory design pattern uh, i have created a land animal factory class and uh, as per factory design pattern we have to uh, write one method called get animal and uh, the parameter should be animal type uh, so based on the animal type passed uh, this method will uh, create the animal object and uh, it will return the animal object to the caller so the animal object can be uh, dog or cat or lion okay and uh, this method will return super class or uh, super interface uh, reference so in this case it will return animal uh, uh, super class or super interface reference suppose say uh, if we pass uh, animal type as uh, doc what this method will do is it will create doc object and it will assign to the super class or super interface uh, uh, animal reference variable and that uh, reference variable will be uh, written back to the caller suppose say if uh, if we pass animal type as lion this method will uh, create the line object and assign the line object to the uh, super interface or super class uh, uh, animal reference variable and uh, that animal reference variable will be written to the caller. So here in the left side you can see animal uh, super class or super interface it has uh, uh, public string speak method and uh, you can see there are two subclasses one is octobus another one is shark and uh, this octobus will uh, implement this peak method and it will return squawk like that uh, the shark will implement this peak method and it will return uh, cannot speak so this octobus and sharks are living in sea so this uh, uh, falls under the category of sea animal so as per uh, factory design button i have created a sea animal factory and as per factory design button it should have one method called get animal and it should return super class or super interface reference and it has uh, string animal type as parameter suppose uh, if we pass uh, octobus as animal type then what this method will do is uh, it will create the octobus object and it will assign to the super class or super interface reference variable animal and uh, that the super class or super interface reference will be uh, written to the caller so suppose if we pass animal type as uh, shark what this method will do is it will create the shark object and assign to super class or super interface reference variable and uh, that super class or super interface reference variable will return to the caller okay so based on the animal type it will create the one of the animal object and it will return to the caller so here you can see there are two factory right sea animal factory and uh, land animal factory um, so this sea animal factory and uh, 
land animal factory or subclasses of uh, this uh, animal factory okay now we will see what is this animal factory what is the responsibility of uh, this animal factory so here this animal factory is nothing but abstract uh, factory okay uh, so this uh, animal factory is responsible for creating other factory right so in this case this animal factory is responsible for creating c animal factory or land animal factory so this animal factory is called super factory okay so it has uh, uh, two methods uh, the first method is abstract method get animal right so that get animal method is implemented by uh, c animal factory and land animal factory that you can see here okay and uh, the second method is create animal factory okay so what this method does is based on the factory type uh, we passed it will create either c animal factory or land animal factory and it will return to the caller so basically uh, this animal factory is called abstract factory and it act as a super factory for uh, c animal factory and land animal factory and this animal factory is responsible for creating uh, the factory classes creating the factory objects like uh, it can be a c animal factory object or it can be a land animal factory object so now if you read this sentence uh, you will understand clearly abstract factory pattern is a super factory so in this case this is the super factory okay which creates other factories okay so this factory is responsible for creating other objects in this case this animal factory is responsible for creating c animal factory or land animal factory based on the parameter we passed right here and this factory is also called as factory of factories because it is a super factory so it is called factory of factories okay and uh, this is about uh, abstract uh, factory design by introduction and uh, thanks for watching bye